Okay, we're looking at Giza for clues about the clock that's here. Ultimately, we want to get a procession and know where we are in the scheme of things. Okay, so the circle here is defined by the northeast corner of Khufu and then the southwest corner of the third Menkara satellite. So it's about the tightest circle you can get around the pyramids at Giza. Okay, that is the tilt angle of planet Earth, 23 and a half degrees. If we're going to, if we're going to get at the precession of the equinoxes, we've got to have the tilt angle of Earth. All right, that is the tomb of Hemiunu. He revealed many secrets in his tomb plans, and he shows his hand all over Giza, the architect of the Great Pyramid. Okay, that is the Valley Temple of Khafre right there. Very significant. Okay, so let's take the Vitruvian Man and see what we can learn from this 360 at Giza. Okay, so let's put the Vitruvian Man at the tilt angle of planet Earth. All right, what do we find here? Okay, first of all, the Sphinx is right exactly where the shackle is on his wrist. That was the place where the spike went through Christ when he was crucified. That's a pain point. And the Sphinx has a fissure in it, a big fissure in the back that was considered holy by the ancient Egyptians. It's a suffering. It's a suffering that the Sphinx has gone through. So somehow, you know, we're, we're, we're showing that this, this idyllic man, there's suffering involved here. That's part of this story. What else do we have? Okay. In his hand here, he's holding the tomb of Hemiunu, the man, this perfect Grecian god-like man, the Vitruvian man, is holding the plans because that's the plans of the plateau. And notice then his finger is pointing to the circle as if to say, I've got the plans, I'm making the circle and the other geometric sacred drawings here on, on this plateau. Okay, and then look, what it, look at his feet. He is so athletic. His body is tilted at 23 and a half degrees, but he's standing on his legs straight up and down, but he's showing coordination by tilting. So even though he's being tilted through the suffering, he's standing firm, standing strong. Okay, what else do we see here? Very interesting. That is the holy shaft, the humble holy shaft that I've shown is connected to so much at Giza. It's like the creator. It's humble, but connected to everything. Okay, look at where it is. The one weakness in this idyllic Greek god-like Vitruvian man, perspiration, he stinks. We are human beings. We are not yet gods, okay? And look at this. There is the Khafre Valley Temple. The northwest corner of that structure is the zero, zero point, the origin for the seasonal clock that's at Giza. So if from there you draw a line to the center of Khufu, and then go 14 degrees, you are at the summer solstice. You go 14 more degrees, and it's the same length as the line to Khufu, and it's at the Khafre Pyramid. You go 14 degrees more, and you're at the equinoxes, both the spring and the fall equinox. You go 14 degrees more, and you're at the northeast tip of the Menkara Pyramid. You go 14 degrees more, you're at, at the winter solstice. So notice the two things in his hand. He's got the knowledge of the seasons, the knowledge of time. He's got the, the tomb of Henu, the plans of the architect. This is a man. This was revealed to a man, an anointed man, a John Dee, angels talking to him, and it can be revealed to us. There's more. Stay tuned.